Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey. So today I thought we'd take a look at Nancy Pelosi. It looks like she's going to initiate a committee uh, to investigate what's happened on January 6th. Hey, did you subscribe? It's, it's not hard. Just do it now. And I think that's a good thing. So, and I'm going to use a new uh, deck today. This is called the Touchstone, Touchstone Tarot. Like all the uh, tarot cards, it comes with, or most of them, it comes with a nice book booklet that describes uh, what's going on inside here. Cat Black is quite prolific. And I'll shuffle these up. Well, let's have a look at them first because they are pretty amazing. Look at that beautiful baby. So you can see that a lot, a lot of work went into the art of these cards. We'll shuffle them up and uh, do this typical Celtic cross spread that I always do. Or typically do. Once in a while I'll do a three or four card spread, but I don't know that I've made any videos with those yet. Uh, these are pretty new, and uh, although I've had them for probably a month or so, I haven't used them much. And they've got a terrific uh, new card smell, so um, I like that. Try to get them shuffled up nicely and nice and mixed up so there's no question about the authenticity. jumped out there that was the knight of cups the knight of cups and uh, if nancy pelosi uh, were a knight she'd certainly be the knight of cups uh, bringing a lot of emotion and passion to to a situation and uh, i don't know why she couldn't be considered a knight she certainly has been working for us in the government for so many years i think that she's close to to 80 if i'm not mistaken and looks terrific when she's on uh, television and moving around in congress i think she's a terrific example for elder women and we should respect our elders so one more shuffle then we'll do a cut and then possibly another shuffle and get started on this reading one more shuffle just to make it nice and you're gonna see these are all focused on someone's face so typical Celtic cross six cards and then another four uh, to finish off that cross so we'll go one Nancy Pelosi this committee for January to investigate what happened on January 6 which of course was that uprising insurrection one two three four five six put these to the side because we're gonna need them again in a minute and look I got this neat pointer that I found in my uh, pens that I didn't know I even had anymore. So Nancy Pelosi, January 6th, what is uh, your intention? What uh, what's, what's your thinking behind this? Because we know that the investigation won't create any uh, sort of a prosecution. It will be a reveal. So the signifier card here is the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups speaks to um, someone who has been very very uh, fruitful in their in their work they've accumulated a lot of a lot of trophies or a lot of value for what they've done and we can see that this nine of cups this fellow is very satisfied it looks like with what he's accomplished so the nine of cups is the um, is a signifier and then we're going to challenge that with the five of cups now, where if the Knight of Cups had accumulated a lot of a lot of a lot of cup trophies, a lot of passion, a lot of emotion, and uh, worth trophies, then the Five of Cups is the challenge, and the Five of Cups is worried about um, what has spilled. You can see this person is getting ready to clean up the mess that was caused. They've got a couple of cups left here, and I want to look a little bit closer into this picture. Let's see. You know, it, it portends the future. I would say this picture here is giving you a look uh, out into the future if this is in fact a picture as a matter of fact this may be a window 
but uh, in any regard, it uh, gives us an idea what's over the shoulder of this person before they turn around from, from cleaning up this mess. So the Knight of Cups challenged by the Five of Cups. The base of this reading is the Nine of Swords. And the Nine of Swords speaks to, look at all these swords and the, and the distress that this has caused this person. These are all the issues that are keeping this person up at night or causing nightmares. So the Nine of Swords is the base of the reading. In the recent past, we have the Three of Cups, which are celebrations. That certainly seems appropriate. We just had the uh, these uh, Democrats are celebrating with um, some of the Republicans who moved over to uh, um, in find the president, uh, number 45, guilty of his uh, impeachment uh, article. They're all holding three cups, and they're having celebrations. So that was in the past. Of course, these three cups look like they have spilled here as a challenge to these nine. Now, up in the sky for Nancy Pelosi is the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups, you know, is the Page, Knight, Queen, and King of the court cards. And this is the Cup Suite. Now, this is coins, by the way. I apologize. This is in the Page of Coins. So the uh, Page is always bringing information in. And this Page is bringing something of value into this uh, into this situation. And, you know, that would probably be uh, the uh, Nancy's intention for this investigation. Because it can't bring a result, but it certainly can bring some value to the to the problem. And then the likely outcome for this is the Knight of Cups. So we're just loaded with cups in this reading for Nancy Pelosi. So the Knight of Cups, where the page of coin brought some value in, the Knight of Cups uh, takes forward his cups. He's guarding it carefully. He doesn't want to spill this. And he's ready to uh, move forward. He's bringing this to the court. He's bringing this to the round table. So that's lovely. And Again, the expression in these in these uh, folks' eyes are just amazing. So we're going to finish this up with the herself right now, how she is uh, represented at this moment with these cards, with the two of coins, keeping something balanced, keeping these coins in play, uh, not letting them fall down, really being the master of these two uh, coins, these two pieces of value that they're bringing in. And we can see this is a beautiful card with a lush green uh, drapery in the back, and this person seems to have a bit of anticipation in their face, which of course they would if they had this challenge. So that's how Nancy is right now, balancing those um, those two coins. And then the environment that she would be in is the Eight of Cups. And so look, so there's eight cups back here, and this person is turned away from those cups. They've got a, a full bright moon over here reflected in the uh, in the waters of passion of the cups and uh, a very serious uh, look on this on this uh, eight of cups face and um, we seem to have an owl flying in to the picture you know owls typically bring wisdom so if the nine of swords and the nine of cups over here represented Nancy then this eight of cups tells us that she's put these behind and possibly focusing on that ninth issue. So that's the environment of Nancy in this Nine of Cups. Now the um, hopes and the fears for, the, for this situation, the Queen of Swords, and that would be the hopes. And I would say that Nancy, I would say, likely hopes to be a, a, a steadfast, a sharp, a cutting Queen of Swords. In other words, what she brings to the table, she wants to be of lethal value. So in this case, I think there's no doubt that this uh, sword represents, uh, oh gosh, truth and justice. And all she can do is bring it forward. She's the queen. She's not the king. So that's our hopes and fears, the best she can do. And then the final outcome for this draw is the star. And so if the star, as a matter of fact, and this is a beautiful card, if the star uh, represents uh, you know, someone who has brought all their, their uh, being to the front to show their their uh, value or their their use to the situation then this star this uh, card the uh, star certainly represents that I mean look at this picture it's just overflowing with emotion she's comfortable where she is and she's looking back over what she's done she is the star of the situation so I had prepared some clarifier cards which means I had just kind of um, uh, included them in my ritual of, of meditation before the deck before the draw 
but uh, this is very clear. I don't think there's anything that needs to be gone over in that. So, so that's my take on Nancy Pelosi and this committee that she's forming for uh, investigation into the events of January 6th. So, my name is Mark. This is my journey to the terror. Before I go, make sure you subscribe. It's not hard to do. Just press that button. Who's, who's going to know? I appreciate it more than I can tell you. Your comments are really, really uh, loved, acknowledged, and useful to what happens here. Thank you so much. See you next time. Ciao for now.